official spokesman for the Yellow Knives Matter Club, I hereby induct you, Mr. Canoe, into the YKM Club. May you carry your colors proudly. Hello and welcome to my channel. Well, I finally got another yellow knife. This is the classic carbon T10 And what's the difference between T10 and 1095? Well, they're pretty close. They're pretty similar. Um, T10 is 1% carbon. And 1095 is 0.95% carbon. Other than that, um, as far as what I've been using them in pocket knives i can't tell the difference between 1095 and t10 uh, one's you know t10's more available in china than 1095 and probably cheaper and uh but yeah as far as edge holding abilities and sharpening and being able to take a patina and all that they seem to be the same as far as i can tell you know from my uses all right so it's other than that, it's just like um, any other Rough Rider canoe. You know, this one's got pinched bolsters, slant. Here we've got the the RT on there. Mirrored uh, R on this. And then the CC in the middle for classic carbon. And then the yellow composite handles. And I think this is just 440A. No, no, that's right. It's a T10, idiot. I was like, hey, why aren't they putting the number up here? Because <laughs> it's carbon, you bonehead. All right, yeah, pretty nice uh, little pin blade there. Let's put that guy back down. Man, that's pretty sharp. I mean, uh, pretty tough to overcome. Pretty good lockup. Let me... uh. do the pull here not bad yeah there is a half stop there yeah it's a, there's a half stop um i'd say that pulls about like a four or maybe even a five it's it's not too heavy it gets a little harder right here uh, we've got a really nice lock up no major gappage going on a little split there, but everything's smooth. Nice and smooth. Nice and smooth. I haven't cleaned this one up or anything. It came wrapped in a um, in some like wax paper. All right, let's drop him. There's the pin right there. Let's see what we get. Patow. See if we got any of the dreaded pin wrap. I don't see any. We're doing good. We're doing good. It's got a little swedge. A little swedgy going on there. Um, long match strike pull. Let's see what our tangula stamp looks like. Come on. You really think that's focused, camera? There we go. Rough Rider with a Y. Yeah, it's... Like I said, it's it's not badly done. There's a little, I, you know, to me this would be like, come on, how how critical are you, really? For I don't know how much this thing was, but it it wasn't over twenty dollars, that's for sure. <clears throat> to me, the main thing is, did I get pin wrap when I did that? No. All right. Do the blades open and close? Yes. The next thing would be, will it cut? Probably. So we'll test that out. Oh, this is a pretty strong one here. If you're going by the nail neck, this pin blade's a little bit heavier. I don't think you have as much room to lever. Let's see. Yeah, they're about the same length out. 
I don't know. It's just a little bit heavier here. It has a kind of a mushy half stop. Oh, man. Getting it out of this half stop. Mm, man. Ah, there we go. Yeah, it's going to take some working in and everything, but very nice pin blade. That, plim that pin blade ain't going anywhere. Man. Uh, uh, I'm pushing on it really hard, and it's, it's not even breaking. Let me safely... This is the way I do it. I get my fingers out of the way and everything, and then I just kind of like, eh, I'll let it curl over like that. Get out of the way, you. We'll open you later. But, uh, yeah, it's pretty nice. Let's get some, let's do a weigh in here. We've got an overhead shot going here. 3.15 ounces. Change our modage. No, we don't want that. 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 Come on, man. I said we don't want that. We don't want grains either. We don't. We don't want that. There. Uh, 89.44 grammages. There, stupid camera. Well, it wasn't the camera's fault. It was the... So... What do I like about canoes? Well, this ain't all of them, but I got quite a few canoes. I got a few canoes here. Uh, they're a nice, they're a nice one that just drop in the bottom of your pocket. Even if you don't have a slip, it just goes in there. And there's usually not a lot of room for any crap to get in the way. They have like that copperhead effect where the tangs are dropped down. See, they're not sticking up at all. There's nothing sharp. You can go like this. And uh, they're just a good size, you know. They're... i got to measure how old. Three and a half inch. we got to measure our main blade. Somebody said we had to measure it. I heard somebody. I heard somebody yelling. Measure the blade! Measure the blade length! Alright, two and a quarter inch cutting edge on the main blade with a, at maximum, two and five eighths, you know, length here. It has a slight curve to it. Now we'll get to the, uh, I got a tater skin bow canoe. We'll get to one that's really pronounced. This one's got a slight one, which is pretty good. All right, let me open this guy up off screen. Yeah, the uh, the first part of this of this opening is not too bad. It's about a five, but going from the half stop to the full open, yeah, it get it gets pretty strong there. You got to make sure that you got two fingers on it and grabbing it pretty hard all right where is this get over here all right so you got, you got an inch and three quarter inch cutting edge on uh, the little pin blade and about a two inch overall on it close you over there yeah overall these are not bad i, I and it's another addition to the uh, ykm club they they now have see they were in a in a hard case and when I opened up the hard case to to check the yellow knives and stuff most of them had jumped out of their elastic and were all there co-mingling around there was one or two that were behaving but the rest of them were all up to no good and so I decided you know what I'm going to give them their own knife roll. So I gave them the big knife roll. So that gives them plenty of room to expand. Now there's only two knives that I don't include in the YKM's knife roll club. And those are the case knives. The Sodbuster and the Slimline Single Bladed Trapper. Uh, because uh, they don't need to be mingling with the Rough Riders and getting bad intentions and notions and stuff and i'm gonna forget them if i ever do like here's all my case knives you know i'll forget where they're at and and they'll be in there getting bad ideas they've been fairly good inside that case like i said but 
if they get out to where they're starting to trying to influence the other nines, that's why they got Dewey as their spokesman. He's he he would like to be addressed as King Dewey. I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna play his games. But anyways, yeah, he he thinks he's special. And uh and they think he's special, so they've made him his spokesman and everything. And I guess you saw probably in the introduction his official ceremony when he was inducted into the YKM club. So there you go. That's enough of your time being wasted with my silliness. Um there will be more yellow knives in the future, but for right now, that's, that should satisfy them. Because I, I noticed I didn't have, you saw that last time I did my yellow knives thing, I had a big list of yellow knives that I didn't have. And one of the most common one was uh, a canoe. You know, I was like, what? I don't have a canoe. So this way, I, I knock one off the list, and uh, I also gain... Uh, another, what, what did I do? I was going to knock one off the list. I was looking for something else. And I've got two notebooks over here. One of them had all my yellow knives needed. I've got one somewhere where it says, it's probably not in here. You're wasting everyone's time. I know, I usually am. No, these are just Fun Knife Friday starter pack. All right, so yeah, there you go. Just remember, yellow knives matter. All knives matter, but yellow knives matter. They seem to matter more to Dewey and, and the Yellow Knives Matter Club. But um, what I like about uh, composite handles and stuff and, and the yellow ones, it could be said the same thing of orange ones also. Uh, they're highly visible usually, so they're easy to find if you drop them or set them down. T10 carbon, you can patina it. You know, you can do a patina job on it. So, that's always cool. And, uh, 1095 and T10 tend to hold an edge a little bit longer than, uh, 440A or B. I don't know about 440C. I think they're, they are, they may be a little bit better than 440C, but I'm not sure. They're, they're right up there with it. But anyways... There you go. That's my ideas and thoughts on uh, uh, the canoe pattern and why I like it. I like the canoe pattern. There's very few patterns that I don't like, you know, uh, that I'm not super fond of. We won't mention any names. We won't mention any names. All right. Thank you for watching, and have a nice day.